Today is the start of a brand new day. We're gonna start off with laundry. And I'm already got a load in. I recently like cleaned and redid my laundry room. I do have plans to, to decorate this. I'm just not sure what or what color scheme because my color scheme is gray gray and white and i got my little tree up i'm still working on the living room as well so as you can see like this part of the house is pretty much done and then bam what the hell <laughs> um about a year ago i tried to paint myself but painting is not for me oh my god it looks so easy but painting is not I take my hat off to people who paint for a living. It's it's hard. I'm not even gonna lie. So I'm still trying to work on finishing, but my husband had a stroke recently, so we had to um, put down the paint brushes and we had to just wait. So I'm thinking about trying to attempt to finish this hallway myself. But y'all, this was a year of nothing. So I don't think that I can be trusted on this one. <laughs> so yeah, we got one and trying to get it together. We getting baths and getting dressed. Got a little heat or so cold in the house today. Um, I have one of those husbands that does not want anyone touching my thermostat. Can't touch it. <laughs> what is that? What the hell is that all about? Like, I don't know, but I just don't touch it. Now I'm cool with it. I just don't. <laughs> How do you want your hair today? I don't want to get my hair touched.
Okay guys, I have been putting this video off for yeah. some time now. <laughs> it's a skincare video. You know you want your skincare um, skincare video to be looking all beautiful and glamorous and you want to go viral, but you know, reality is just, you know, hair, your little makeup, your little um, face cleansing little brat thing. And yeah, you're just here like taking note of your skin. So um, the first thing I like to do before I start my skincare is just to kind of take a look at my skin to see what's going on with it. And if you can look closely, you see like this ring right here. Like ever since I've gotten vaccinated, you can see like, look right here, this little discoloration is like part all of this. This is not a mustache. This is just darkening i believe from menopause from being vaccinated i can't be for sure for sure but i am going to um going to the doctor soon to get some blood work done to just see what's going on since i've been taking these vaccines and yeah so i do have some new skincare products it is the belief and oh god what is uh, alicia's face she told me about about the aqua bomb. Tell me about the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. And um, she said it was a really good cream. And it really is. It really does moisturize. But I had got like, they had like gift sets. So I didn't know that this was the aqua cream moisturizing bomb. Like the regular moisturizer. So I bought like two little gift sets to get this size and to get some other free stuff and try some other um, parts of the um, skincare line. But um, I didn't know this was aqua. So I just kept it anyway because with the, um, the winter weather approaching, I thought that a cream might do me well and maybe do the aqua bomb, the gel in the morning and then do the cream at night. I was gonna do a comparison of these, but for right now, I'm just gonna do my AM skincare and then I'll think about comparing those two together right there. So I like to kind of, like I said, I just take a look at my skin and see what's going on with it. I'm noticing I'm getting, you know, this is kind of coming down. So the exercise, I do facial exercises. So I just work that. And that kind of raises this part up. I also do like a massage and bring the skin and then bring it on down for lymphatic draining and do a massage that helps with the muscles because you know you have muscles in your face. So if you don't um, exercise them, your face will start to droop. And then there's exercises and things for the mouth. Yeah, you can put your tongue and growth your mouth and hook that in. Look at that. Look at that gobbler. And then. <laughs> and then I go up to help with this. Now I am having like a lot of wrinkling, you know, in the neck. It's just, it's just, just getting old. So this crepiness there, I'm working on, and I use a um, tightening firming cream on that area as well. But yeah, so that's really about it. I don't really notice anything too different. The skin does look, you know, moisturizer, moisturized. So that was from just putting on the Aqua Bomb um, last night. So it still gives your face a really good glow. This is what I used last night. I used that. I also use the um, the eye cream and the Belief Sleeping Mask. Okay, anyway, so um, what I get started with in the morning, my my am is a lot i'm not gonna lie it ain't no three simple steps um i i go in i go in i go in you guys and so we're gonna start with the aqua bomb jelly cleanser i like this one a lot um it says intensely hydrating jelly texture cleanser gently removes makeup and impurities dermatology tested and this is a really great um, gel. I like the way that it, it, it smells. It, it smells like the sea. So it actually smells like it's doing something, I ain't gonna lie. So I just take that 
wet that a little bit. It has a really nice lather and it cleanses. So I put that on and then I go in. Let me see, where is mine? Go in with my Nova face um, brush. I got this at Target. So it is on now. It's just really nice and light. As you can see. Leave my wrinkle on. I might need maybe just a little bit more. There we go. There we go. We need to do a, a, a cup. Look at this. One. Like I said, it smells really nice and fresh. It has like a, a sea smell to it. So it's very refreshing, very relaxing smell. Just puts you in a really tranquil mold. And it feels really, really nice. Usually the gel cleansers are what I use like more in the summertime. I go ahead and I rinse that off. I like to do a gentle exfoliation. Um, the pineapple exfoliating powder from Good Molecules is a really good one. Just as I'm getting older, I don't want to do anything abrasive you know, that can tear or scratch the skin. So, you know, um, exfoliators with like little granules in it, I think they tend to scratch the surface of the skin. And by me being more mature, I don't need any damage, any more damage to my skin. I'm trying to hang on to it, okay? So this is a powder and it has pineapple. So it is an enzyme and it's going to exfoliate and do the same thing for your skin, except it won't tear or scratch the top layer. It's just a powder. And then just go ahead and add some water. And it turns into like something like this, like a sexiness. And you just go in and put it on. And this is what gives you like that shiny glow to your skin as well. I have another product. Uh, when I do my PM, I'll show you what I use to um, buff off their skin. Another type of exfoliator, which is really cool. And it kind of does the same thing. It, it exfoliates without tearing or scratching the skin, okay? Yeah, I'm going to let that sit on the face for a minute. And just kind of go in. Up there. So it's actually working. So we're just going to like let that um, sit for a second. Yeah, yes. Huh? Let's see, baby. Yeah, good job, baby. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of dry it a little bit. It left like a little white film over the face. You can see I'm starting to get a little red redness from the irritation. So I'm going to use that belief um aqua bomb sika cream for it's for stress you gotta kind of get in where you fit in you know i was thinking like you know oh, i'm trying to get the kids be quiet be quiet but this is reality. This is real life. You cannot always have the peace and quiet you want when you have a family and you're trying to do this. And 
I'm sure you guys can respect the fact that I'm not going to just like dog my family out and make them change because I'm trying to do something different. We have to like all do this together. This YouTube channel belongs to our, this family. So it should be, they should be in it as well. Okay, so I want to go in with that toner. And then I go in with that Sika for any redness. Put my ring down, please. That's going to help with the redness that I have in here and through here. Okay. Then the next step, if you use like a retinol, a retinol, you need to make sure you use a sunscreen. So I'm going in with the Good Molecules Gentle Retinol Cream. Well, actually before that, I always put on the Discoloration Correcting Serum for up in here and then to balance my skin tone. So let me, oh, I think I'm getting low on that. That's what it looks like. Okay, then I go in with the retinoid cream. up you want to pull down gravity is doing that enough y'all see my little extra little gobbler right mama. there i'm working on that this is but, yeah. mama that's just what happens this that's is mama and with my belief true cream aqua bomb you see how much and moisture that that has looks really good. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the eye cream, the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I'm gonna put that right under there. So the pat 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 and then the next thing that I do is I put on a sheet mask. I have these Coffee Break Natural Extract um, Parafrain Plus Sulfate Free Cappuccino Face Mask. And I'm gonna put that on for a few minutes. Now the secret to sheet masks is that you don't wanna let it dry out on your face. So it should not be dry where you have to pry it off of your face. You should put it on you know, no more than about seven minutes, you know, because it will suck the moisture that you just put in into your face. Okay, so that is what I do. I like to take my towel and just kind of push it into my skin. Smells really good, like cappuccino, <laughs> like coffee. The coffee extracts are good for your skin as well. I let that sit on for a few minutes. Okay, so see that. And then I like to go in with 
this is a frail I got this from Target and it's like a little instrument that just helps to um, push the product into your skin and it massages it so it does kind of move the muscle in the face to help tone and it gets warm to melt those wonderful ingredients into your skin so I just go over my whole entire face with that Nice and warm. Okay. Then I just pat my face just a tad. go in with the Mario Badusco um, collagen moisturizer and it has an SPF of 15 sunscreen And that's it. That is my AM skincare process. You got the hiccups? Yeah, baby, wait. Okay. You have a patient today? Yeah. Who's your patient? It's fun. You have a patient. You have a a medical instrument around your neck. A thesoscope. Thesoscope. This is your fingers. Like right you. It could be like you. <gasps> <sighs> <laughs> Your brother um put the do the laundry. Let me do it. Can I do it? Give her one. Stop. Give her one thing to put in. Go reach in there and get one and put it in there. Go ahead. Okay, so this one's already done. Come on, baby. Let's get it. All right, so we close that. You are in No, I'm gonna push it. Okay, once well, you put the whites in, put the whites in. White. All that stuff in that one pile, put that on in, in the washing machine. Okay. I know it started, Nima. Okay, but we gotta put stuff in it first. Okay, right now I'm just using the Thai Simply Clean and Fresh. It was a good deal at Target. Um, I've been using Arm & Hammer, because that was a good value too, but I don't know, it just didn't smell as good as I wanted it to smell, and this Thai does is always good and then I have like a softener um, I tried this softener um, it was really good I and I'm putting all the toys 
toys in. Why not? Why not? Why not? They have so much fun. Why not? I hope I don't drop my phone. Cause that's gonna be a problem. I got the little mermaid. Got lights, cameras, actions. Wish I could be part of that world. <laughs> All right, you guys, now that I am a bathe. <laughs> I'm gonna um, go ahead and do a smoky eye look. It's just my everyday smoky look. I think it'd be great for Thanksgiving. Um, after this, I'm going to show an outfit that I think would be great for Thanksgiving and also the fragrances that you can wear for Thanksgiving day. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna start off with the Believe True Cream Aqua Bomb. This is a good base for your makeup and it really helps set it sets the eyebrows the eyebrows very nicely and i love this a lot it's just a really really nice base and it moisturizes the skin and keeps it you know really nice to work with when you're smoothing on your different makeup applications so yeah, so I'm gonna let that just dry just a tad bit. And then I'm gonna go on and you see, I don't have any eyebrows, so I have to draw them in. I know I'm not the only one. If you have to draw in your eyebrows, go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> just girl, just go ahead and subscribe. So I have this little brush that I use to draw them on. And I'm probably gonna, I use eyeshadow, but I'm gonna try something different today. I know I'm gonna use like a dark one, but I'm gonna try to do like an ombre um, eyebrow today. So let's see how this is gonna turn out, you guys. I don't know. I'm gonna start out with a, a lighter brown. And then I'm going to darken it up towards the end. So I just use eyeshadow, you guys. That's all. Nothing too complicated. They have a lot of great eyeshadow. Well, not eyeshadow, but brow products on the market now. Where were you when I was 17? <laughs> All we had was just that little eyebrow pencil that you had to burn with a lighter to to use to draw on your waterline. So yeah, but those were the days. Those were the days, you guys. Okay, so you see how light that's coming out, and then I wanted to go in and darken it, darken it up. Let me see. I want to get like another brown. Oh, this one right here. I don't know if this is coming out the way I planned it, but... Maybe I should just trust the process and just go with it. No, it's not really coming out the way that I wanted it to come out. But, oh well. You live and you learn. So I like to... I like to do my eyes and stuff first and then clean up and then go in with like foundation and stuff. I think I'm gonna do a full beat. I haven't decided yet. I 
don't know about this eyebrow. But you see how the, the 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 powder is not moving or anything. It's just staying like in place. So yeah, let's go for the other one. I'm going with the lighter color. I'm just trying that I can clean it up with my concealer when that time comes but I like starting with the lighter color because it's not so I don't know it just doesn't look so harsh as it normally does and then I can like I said go in and darken it up when I'm ready to do that And then we're gonna go in with a highlighter. I use like a little flat brush like that. And I just have Elf little highlighter highlighter palette. It's jacked up. I don't even think I want to show it, but you know, whatever. I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> I know I can't just be the only one with a jacked up palette. So I like to go in and clean the area right on up. I normally don't put it on the top, but I do like the way it looks when the girls have their eyebrows kind of lined at the top. So I'm gonna try it today. So I'm just doing a few different things today.
Oh wow, it just makes it look kind of boxed in, but look like you have a little bit more control to shape it. That light is a little bright, but we're getting, let me turn to the side just a little bit. And then just go ahead and blend that. Now if I'm doing that right. Uh-oh, that's a lot. And that's kind of high too. It's not even above. <laughs> and this mirror's got me looking kind of cross sided. Okay, so I have a better looking palette, <laughs> which is the MAC Concealer Pack Palette and just kind of like earth tone shades. And then I like to go in, I use like the lighter browns to kind of take away some of that harshness look in the front to blend it more in like to my skin. You see how I took away that and then I just kind of go down towards the end that was the lighter this is um palette number i don't know if it's a palette number it says dark studio um concealer and correct palette dark that's what it said uh -oh. that's what it says so i can kind of clean that up See how I didn't have to powder that brow or anything? It just laid there, perfect. So I'm gonna do the other side and put that like right in there. Can y'all see that? And bring it all the way towards the end to take away the whiteness. I just want it to be more in the brow bone, brow bone area. I don't know, one looks higher than the other one, y'all. Yeah. One looks higher than the other one, let me see. Yeah, it is, let's see. Usually my bangs are covering, but I still like it to be right. Regardless of if I'm showing them. Let me see, maybe I can clean it up with this because this one's a little bit higher than that one. And then I wanna make it a little bit skinnier on the edge. So with my wet wipe, I go in and I just go right on down, right on down. Right on down, honey. See how? 
I go in with um, some more. I usually like to go for this one at the bottom here, the orangey one, the orangier colored. And I just kind of put that on the top of the lid. Just kind of pat that so that the color can kind of stand out a little bit. So that's kind of what I'm left with. And it'll all blend in because the foundation is going to match it. And just kind of let that. Let that just kind of dry a little bit. I don't really need to powder it because that um, moisturizer is going to pretty much set it. So, this type of brush. And I use the darker color here. And I just go in. I feel like I'm in a circus in this little round mirror. That's like a magnifying mirror. The cream is easy to work with. For me, I just dab it a little bit. No right or wrong way to do it. I mean, you just kind of bring it out. I like to, I used to bring my eyes all the way out. I want my eyes to be sitting down, having several seats, okay? So that's just me. I just like the way that it looks when the line goes all the way straight across. And I mean, it goes all the way. So just go up to meet the area. It's a liner. It's like a liner for your eyelashes too. So I just go in. And paint that across the best that I can. Go in and do the same thing on the other side. My eyeliner is is not working right, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go and see. Like, I don't know what happened to it. Like, it's just, it goes in and out. So I'm trying to keep using it. This was a, um, but I'm gonna go over here because I have to kind of press down, not break it, but still line it. See, like that. Okay, now I go back in with like black powder and I'm going to be using my chocolate palette Too Faced oh wow that one's a little dirty and that's going to take some scrubbing I ain't got time for all that <laughs> and I use this color right there so I take the black and I just kind of go under the liner to make sure that I got enough product 
because I like it nice and thick. I yeah. like it to be like rawr. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody boo booing. Yeah, somebody Okay, that's somebody else's business, sweetie. Yeah. Okay, thank you for sharing. And then I go in with the black and I darken this corner and bring it all the way out and up like that. And then I go over with the black and I take it in the crease. I don't think this is my best one, y'all, but yeah. It's not my worst. <laughs> it's not my worst. And then I just go back in and fill in and just kind of pack it, pack the dark color on. Kind of go back in there and pack it on. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it. I go in with like a lighter color just to kind of blend it. So maybe something like this one right here. I'm using the Essence Lash Princess. And I just do top and bottom. Oh, my mirror is Filthy. Oh my God. Sorry about that. I actually like to use my smaller mirror for this. I can see all the lashes. This, oh, this is my 10 times little mirror and it's important to get those ones right at the end because you have to make sure they blend in with your eyelashes so no special way girl I just put it on brush it up and go on about my business but yeah my favorite part are the lower lashes so I just like to go get all the product off that edge and then just go with like a sweeping back and forth motion and then straighten them out. I need a little bit more. with my, the um, duo it's the instant one so yeah so just take those off of that it's gonna be time for some new lashes I want some I want some bigger fluffier lashes I want to change my lashes for 2023 I want to go with something a little bit more a larger lash, more whip, whipsy, whimsical. I don't know, whimp, whimsy, whimsy, whimsy. Like more fantasy, not too, too big, but like, I just want the ones that kind of separate and go long, like a little space in between and pow, then get it up, pow, pow. <laughs> That's the kind of lash that I want on my lash. lashes to say pow, pow. Cacao.
Okay. Uh oh. Wait, let me see at the top. Y'all, y'all, y'all get the picture of what I'm trying to do. <laughs> this is not gonna always come out perfect. Why? Okay. That doesn't look bad, but this one looks kind of. Okay, well, my eyeliner didn't really turn out yeah, the way I needed it to turn out, so paper. that was another it's thing. Paper. I love you. I love you too. That's just gonna have to do it. Okay, so it's called Arrow, and it is a under eye brightening serum. So I just kind of go in. with that and that really lightens up underneath and it doesn't leave any lines or wrinkles you want? and that's why I love this stuff push on the toilet he was on the toilet yeah push on the toilet okay and I'll just go under with my little egg I love this little egg from Elf. Where are we going? It's the perfect where size for me. I'm not going anywhere, baby. I'm just filming. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're not going anywhere today, I don't think. Because Papa's leaving. Okay, so that's that, y'all. So then after that, I go Can in with the pick HD up? Makeup Can Forever. Mommy pick I think it's a concealer. Yeah, my daughter gave me this, so I'm not really Can sure what this product pick? is. And this is just I'm going to, to take a little bit of that brightening away. And also conceal a little bit lower so I don't, I don't know how to put that much, but I don't, the foundation doesn't do very well that close under my eyes. Eyelashes didn't come out too bad, but okay. So now, this new product, you guys, that I want to in introduce you to, Bethany Frankel, she does like a lot of TikToks on drugstore, and she recommended the Physician's Formula 24 Karat Gold okay, Collagen bye. Setting Spray. This is the bomb, and you're going to see how well it works when I'm done. So I'm going to spray this all over my face. It's going to set, when it's off. No, this. This is has a foundation on it. Here. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Do it. Do it. Put my face. Paint my face. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, here you go. Now put it right here. <laughs> okay, here, do my face. Okay, thank you. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now I can do my makeup. Now I can do my makeup. This foundation is um, Double Wear by Estee Lauder. It is number 5W1. And it took me a long time to find a foundation because my skin was just not the same. It was, um, I don't know, it just was, it was in between colors. It My skin was not really receiving it foundation. So... It took a long time to find a foundation that really worked. I also like the MAC um, Studio Fluid. That was a good one. But I was in between colors. So. So then I'm going to. Okay. So I just wet my little sponge so I could blend it in a little bit better. I'm going to go in with this brush right here. And I'm going to use this color right here. Body, body, body. 
Oh, that's dark. Pa, 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 pa. I take this and I go under here to, to shadow that gobbler. <laughs> and then I go down the bridge of the nose. Then I'm going with blush. I don't know. Go see. Go see. Go on with a little blush. Go on in with a pink blush. And then I'm gonna put a little peach in that too to warm it up. Then I am going to Mima, where you got Look at that glow. I love that. Okay. And then I'm going to outline my lips. I just have one lip liner which is the Night Moth by MAC. And I'm going to put some Sweet Mouth. No, I got a new one. This one is the Fussy, I believe, by who other than Rihanna. Oh, Let me put some powder. I have some like a MAC powder. It's a studio powder. This one. I'll put that over where I'll put that extra coverage for my top lip to cover that. And then I'll put a little bit uh, under my eye to set that powder. And that's it. Now, I go in, I have a MAC Lipstick, which is not that one, um, which is called Bad and Bear. It's just like a mauvey color. I don't know how they be doing those videos, <laughs> but no makeup. There's a lot. I mean, I've done makeup videos before, but I don't know. I just I guess I'm just feeling some kind of way today. I just go as close to the lip to the lip line as I can. I got a piece of different skin right there. So that's like a mauvey look. And then I go in with the Fenty um, lip gloss. You do. A, I need to do a lips girl tonight. I'll listen or chat. Okay. So this is the face. And then I'm going to go back in with this 24 hour, 20, 24 hour, 24 karat gold um, collagen setting spray. And it's, the collagen is going to plump up your face too. And you're going to see how pretty that glow is going to be on there. Look at that glow, girl. Look at that glow. And it dries down like by itself. You don't have to really do anything. 
Okay, so I am pretty much done. I just fluff out my hair. And y'all, that is it. That is pretty much all that I do. So now we are going to be picking an outfit um, that I think would be suitable for Thanksgiving. What I think would be great for Thanksgiving is something with a elastic waistband on it, girl, because you can just fill up. You ain't got to worry about adjusting. Just let your stomach do what it's going to do while you eating all of that. Okay. So I just got a new outfit and I think it's going to be perfect um, for the look that I am going for. And it's going to be this two piece peach set. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on right fast. Okay, so this is a really cute, comfortable outfit. And you just pair with a cute little pair of like little clear heels. And you have created a vibe, okay? Here we can get a full length picture of it in the mirror. Okay, so guys, so in, in order to um, just really tie up and finish the look of your outfit, I think fragrance would be in order at that point. That is when you drop the mic, okay? So I'm going to show you what well, I'm going to tell you about three fragrances. Let me see one. Yeah, one, two, three fragrances I think will be great for Thanksgiving. And let's just go ahead and get jump into it. Um, I think that this um, YSL Intense will make a really great perfume selection for Thanksgiving. It's nice. It's warm. It's sweet. It's vanilla. It's just everything wrapped up in a Thanksgiving dessert that you would want. So I think this one would be a great one to wear your YSL. I also think um, your Baccarat Rouge 540 X Straight. Once again, this smells like holiday in a bottle. Just holiday in a bottle. There's an Omni type of smell, like a, a, a nutty, you know, smell in there. There's a sweet smell. I mean, look at the bottle. Christmas in a bottle. Christmas in a bottle. And then the next fragrance that I think would be a hit would be your Delina. I think this is a great scent. I think it's very soft, but it also smells because it has that nutmeg in it. So you got a hint of like baking dessert in the air with 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 this like a floral scent all combined. And it's it's really a different scent. So this will be a great opener for conversation. Like, girl, what you wearing? Because that smells really good. So I think you would do great to go with Delina YSL or your Baccarat Extrait 540. Okay. So you guys, it's going to be easy. So now I'm going to be making a DiGiorno, DiGiorno pizza. I think this is the best pizza on the market. And you could just kind of doctor it up. I'm probably just going to put some olives, black olives on it. And then I have like this little pizza pan tray that I put my pieces on. So yeah, I'm just going to put like some salt and pepper on it. Uh, it's like a mechanic salt and pepper shaker. 
My husband got that off of Amazon. Not really sure, but if y'all, if you guys are interested, I can get the information for you. And I'll probably put a little garlic salt. And then some black olives. Huh? Where's my olive set? I had a little bag of black olives up here. So what? I'm holding the camera. I put a few olives that I had. Stop eating the stuff. It has to cook, ma'am. Just a few little. I should put some pineapples on there, girl. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to wait for the oven to preheat. And this is what we're having for dinner. Those are